Quite crowding here tonight. Mind you, the Glastonbury Arms always attracts a higher class of people than our pub in Butte Street. Right loads of ruffians in there. These look quite an intelligent lot. Yeah. Shall we run our little quiz past them oh, and see? Good idea. I am Anton, originally from Croatia. This is my wife, Hannah. Irish, daughter of immigrants, don't you know? Now, you all like watching the Olympic Games, don't you? And checking that medal table. But how many British medalists can you name? Come on, have a go. I'll start you off. Chris Hoy and Jason Kenny. Now they had the most medals. And then Bradley Wiggins and Stephen Redgrave. You've heard of them, haven't you? Ben Ainsley and Matthew Pinsent. That's six. Now, who ranks as number seven on the table? Paolo Radmilovic. You've heard of him, haven't you? No? Well, he was our son, our third boy. And Wales' greatest ever Olympian. Don't ask me how he ever came to play water polo. <laughs> and record-breaking swimmer. Well, but Paolo won his first gold medal when he played water polo for the British team and they beat Belgium 9-2 in the London Olympics in 1908. And his second medal came when he was drafted into T Team GB relay team and helped them win the world record. And this is the boy who was pulled out of the Cardiff Canal when he was five years old. <gasps> Thank God they built the cooperation baths. I sent him there instead. But he still swam in the river and he was known as the shark man of the Taff. Oh, some say growing up in Tiger Bay is what made him tough. Well, I mean, the area did breed some sturdy characters. Jim Driscoll lived just over the road. Everything he went in for, he won. The Junior Welsh Championship at age of 14 and his debut for the water polo team at the age of 15. You should have seen Paolo's clock shot. That's what I call it. He gathered up the ball in his own half and he launched such a backhand, so powerful that it hit the upright at the back of the shallow end goal, bounced back into the middle of the pool, hit the side of the bath, ricocheted off the balcony and brought the whole of the clock oh. down. <laughs> and he was the only man in the world to enter the Olympics six times. But there is one question we would like to answer yes. to. Where are his medals now? Mm. He used to keep them in a big display cabinet in his pub in Western Supermare. But when he died in 1968, they, they disappeared. <laughs> Family fallout, apparently. Some people have tried to trace them, but there is no evidence of them ever coming on the market. No, I mean, they must be somewhere. It's, it's not the kind of thing you'd just throw away, is it? But they could be in a jeweler's or pawnbroker's. Someone could have given them to a money lender, or they could be in the back of a cupboard somewhere. Oh, yes, and they're worth more than 30,000 pounds. I mean, keep your eyes open. Paolo is not buried here in the family vault in Cates, but he was proud to have won all his titles and medals for Wales. Yes, and there's a strong case for our Paolo being the greatest sportsman ever produced by Wales. I mean, forget about John Charles and Gareth Edwards and whoever. Remember his name, Paolo Radmilovic, our, our son. son.